trappers trap trapping trap house trap houses bandos bandos and trap houses one of the same supposedly fucking <laughs> trap music <laughs> this is a dj exclusive trap and the fucking trap <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference, man? What's the difference when you when you graduate? We'll call it graduation. I mean, you don't necessarily it's not necessarily a move up. You might consider it a lateral move from the street into corporate. It's still a trap though. You're still trapping. <laughs> you're still fucking selling, you're still pushing, you're still hustling a product, a service. Ultimately, when you're lower ranking, that's that's the that's the job duties you're you're given. That's the position that you get. It's the position you sign up for, unless you come in with uh, a skill set that makes you a more valuable asset. Then you might be put in, into some kind of supervisory position, a management position, middle management, where you oversee. The lower ranks, where you oversee those uh, those sellers, those salesmen, those salespersons, those hustlers, those dealers, those distributors. You might be somewhere. You might be somewhere further up, a little further up the chain. The chain of supply. The chain of demand. The supply chain. The demand chain. But you're still trapping. Ultimately, any position you get put into, even if you don't have your hand on the product, even if you don't handle the product, you're still a trapper. You're still checking traps. You're still going from trap house to trap house. If you're a regional manager, right? If you're in corporate and you're going from store to store checking numbers, are you arguably not checking your traps? Is that not how that shit works? <laughs> and to the person at the counter, what are they if not, you know, some lowly, some lowly member? I, I want to say soldier, but I mean, soldiers arguably have one purpose, and that's to um, to be put into battle, to put in work, not just deal work, you feel me? <laughs> To actually do dirt and not sell work. And by work, I mean product or service. On the street, work is, I don't know, dope. Dope or some kind of other service. <clears throat> and like some other trafficking service, right? And dirt, well, that's just a whole other service completely. That's a whole other kind of service. Maybe it's a disservice to uh, somebody who's <laughs> on the receiving end. <laughs> but you're still trapping. It's still a trap. When you're trapping in corporate, you're a corporate trapper. <laughs> and on some corporate cowboy shit, really? It's the same game. The game never ends. The game, fuck it, it's the same game. It's the same game, just a different level, just a different uh, world, a different area. Like in that classic Super Mario uh, game, where you just have, you have different worlds, different worlds, different contexts. Same challenges, though, same challenges. So anybody can participate. Doesn't matter where you came from, where you hail from, what you look like. What language you speak, what food you eat, that shit doesn't fucking matter in corporate. Corporate doesn't give a shit. Corporate is a trap. And I don't mean like as an entrapment, like you're fucking stuck. You're not stuck. You enter willingly. You enter willingly. Why? Because you want you want to fucking trap. You want to be a trapper. You, <laughs> you want to play the game. You want to come up. You want to uh, succeed. You have aspirations of being a professional, of being successful, 
having achievements, obtaining accolades, getting compensated for your worth, whatever it is you're capable of negotiating, getting cars, getting clothes, getting shoes, getting jewelry, getting access to certain levers, political, sorry, political and social levers, and lovers, I suppose, too. I felt like I was slurring my words there. But yeah, it's true. You're still a trapper. You're standing behind the counter, and uh, you're on the block, essentially. That counts as the block. I won't delve into any any history before corporate too much I don't, I don't know maybe on a future podcast on a future episode but when you've entered corporate doesn't matter what level you're at if you're at the lowest bottom level rung some entry level hourly wage employee or you're at the tippy tippy top the ceo you got the crown, you, you got the crown leased, you've leased the crown for a, a contractual, some contracted for time, for a contractual period, you've leased the crown, you're still entry level in my book, but you're a trapper, you're trapping. So when you're on the block, Let's put you at the store level, at the at the bottom level. That might be the easiest sense. Maybe in a future podcast, because I don't know how much time I have. I'm trying to keep these short. Maybe I'll contextualize it. I'll analogize it into uh, what a CEO does to trap and their perspective uh, markets and their target markets. Red ocean, blue ocean type things. But an hourly employee doesn't have to worry about that. An hourly employer, like a little independent contractor, they don't have to worry about that. All they're worried about is doing the job right, is being effective. Being effective in the workplace within the scope of their duties, what they're obligated to do, and uh, how they can grow and improve from there in order to get advancement in order to advance up the ranks well that's again that's entirely contextual to what the work demands to work to what the work consists of and yeah you could directly analogize it you could directly translate this transfer this transpose it over into a uh, street work but again i'm not gonna uh for the sake of time for the sake of complexity picture uh yeah picture two organizations both hierarchical in their structure one is a street organization and the other is a corporate organization there's a yeah there's there's a what is it there's main street and there's fifth ave or there's Main Street and uh, what's a good boulevard? <laughs> There's Main Street and the boulevard. There's the street and the boulevard. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm muddying that up. We'll go back to just using... There's street organizations and there, then there's corporate organizations. Formal corporate organizations. And they're both hierarchical. They've got some, some kind of head figure at the top and at the bottom the span of control uh, becomes wider and wider from management to uh, the lowly crew member, the lowly soldiers, the hustlers that have to report and kick up numbers to uh, their managers. And when you're at the bottom, well, I mean, you have access to the product. Obviously, you don't want to uh, use your own supply, get high on your own supply. So, you can't be stealing from the workplace 
some folks call that a uh, shrink because it shrinks the amount of product that is on hand and uh, supposedly corporate loves to harp on the fact that shrink is one of the largest uh, sources of of revenue loss of <laughs> of loss in the uh, in the business because there's employees that steal from the workplace and they'll say oh yeah I'm, and it's not just uh paper clips and fucking staplers and post-its and shit no i mean like they take actual product or actual service or, or tools and they'll take them home in my experience that's rare in my experience that's rare um i have I have been privy to some circles that operate on that that operate in that operate in that way, I suppose. Yeah, that operate in that way where they get a job and the first thing they do when they come on board is to start emptying cupboards, to start emptying desks and just taking supplies. But it gets to a point where it doesn't matter like the the amount of supplies that you take out of the workplace. I mean, you can't you can't take away value from the organization. It would have to be done on a mass scale. Like literally robbing shipments of office supplies in order to amount to the losses. In, in, in order to uh, overtake, overtake the revenues that's coming from the product and services being sold. But as a as a lowly uh, crew member, as a lowly employee, you have access to this product, to this service that you have to hustle, that you have to sell, that you have to make some kind of number, make some kind of quota, meet some kind of sales goal, meet some kind of objective goal in order to be compensated. If you're on a compensation structure, on a compensation package on a on a contract for compensation <clears throat> and that's essentially what you're doing you, you're you don't you don't have uh express authorization to uh, change the price on it uh you don't have express authorization on what the quality looks like and what the quality is like and that's again can be contextualized to a street organization i i don't have access to uh the connect right like the dope i sell it comes pre-packaged to me i don't have i i i only have access to it as it comes pre-packaged i could probably bust it down further and and step on it again but then i'm liable to I'm liable to my supervisors if uh, complaints should pop up that quality has dropped, that that the package has been um, has been adulterated, that the seal has been broken. Like you can't sell an open package without a discount, right? Even at a store level, you can't sell a package that's that's damaged without discounting it for and and taking into account any loss of quality any any loss of value to a consumer who's paying you know who's who's paying their their legal tender for it who's paying monies for it but it's different in corporate and i suppose i could say that it's different on the street level too but again i'm not i'm not arguing for for street organizations. I'm arguing for corporate organizations that are meant and supposed and obligated to be legitimate, obligated to be formal. It shit's in their bylaws. It shit's in their articles of incorporation. It's in their charter. Otherwise, what the fuck good is any of this any of this paper when you can just stick a ladder to it? <laughs> Damn, Alex, relax. Corporate can do something about quality. Corporate can do something about price. You know what that entails? It, it entails communication, additional communication, unceasing communication. It, it requires work. 
it requires more work. And it, it doesn't require more work from the person on the ground. It requires work from every other motherfucker who's, who's chosen to advance in the game. That's the whole point of advancement. It's fulfilling obligations, those obligations that you were required to fulfill, and then taking on more. Taking on more. That's an affirmative that's an aff- that's that's what is it an affirmative action yeah that that's an affirmative action of taking on more responsibility so you should be more responsible you should be more responsible you can't just shrug your shoulders and say oh, i'm just doing my job fuck you <laughs> catch a shell i don't <laughs> uh, and it's difficult to make those suggestions in in to make those suggestions in corporate on how to better improve the quality of a product, the quality of a service, and have that idea bubble up to the top, you know what you're doing, right? How do you think bubbles how do you think bubbles fucking work in corporate? They rise, right? And in doing so you're it's like reverse plinko from that fucking show the price is right. It's like pinball. You're bumping into positions on the way up. You're jostling. You're unsettling. You're rocking these positions. You're rocking these little individualized boats. I know no man, no person is an island, but motherfuckers in corporate, some, I'm sorry, some motherfuckers in corporate really like to believe that they're entitled, that they deserve, that they belong in the positions that they're meant to be because they're older? I don't fucking know. Because of seniority? <laughs> because because they got one or two little additional stripes on their on their W-2 that says they can give orders? What? That, that makes them untouchable? <laughs> they can't be knocked down? Come on, bro. Come on. When when folks start pulling rank arbitrarily like that. In order to escape work, in order to evade responsibility, that's when that's when you start taking your work home with you. That's when you leave the scope of work and move into the area of dirt. Anyways, follow us on Instagram. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm fucking mad or in passion right now. It's lit though. It's Monday. April 12th, 2021. This is Proof of Life. Alex, your corporate cowboy. Entry level forever. Powered by Incorporating Associates. On Instagram, at incorporating.associates underscore IA. You want to shoot us a couple of dollars? Do that. Subscribe to Patreon. It's the Corporate Cowboys podcast. Uh, if you want to do that directly, paypal.me slash corporate cowboys venmo i believe it's alex underscore coco you'll see the picture and cash app dollar sign corporate cowboys have yourselves a great week